Hello guys and welcome back, my name is Phoenix and today we're looking at Dwarf Fortress. In previous episode we started to build a little bit of our dining room. And that's exactly what I'm using my guys for. They're going to be mining that, try to engrave as much as possible, eventually we're going to move them tables from here into the room in here. The merchant from the Byzantium has embarked on their journey, so that's fine, they're leaving us. The merchant that has came, come to visit us in the previous episode are leaving now. So as you can see in here, they are going. They're very undecisive as the way they're going. Some of them go through this door, some of them go through the other one. So I don't really know how it happens sometimes with them, but it does. So what I want in here is a second door. So then I can lock it up. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the second door in here and build a build room. So let's go to building. Building and bridges are somewhere underneath. It's G for bridge, isn't it? Yes. So I'm slowly starting to learn the controls. I haven't played. I haven't played the this version of the game for a while, so that's why. I think we place the bridge in here. That would make sense. I can keep it locked. Access to my base and keep everything else working properly. So yeah, let's have it like that, and we want to make sure the, beach re the bridge retracts. Not retracts, but actually raises. So we'll raise in this direction. I'm going to make it on some blocks as well. Them sound, sounds alright to me, we can build that, awesome. Okay, so we have bridge being built, people are being busy. Apparently I have 8 idlers, so let's see at that. None of the jobs are being done, so I have to select few people and give them actually something to do in the colony. In the colony in our base. So let's go and see what it needs doing. Okay, so simple task in here. We're going to build this wall in here. So we're going to go to build, building the wall, which is in here. And wall, yes, awesome. And let's go all the way down. And build the wall. I'm going to drag it as much as possible. The longer the better. And we want to use the blocks again. So let's go here. So the Mika blocks. I can build the different materials. I don't particularly care what I'm using for a wall. It's exterior wall. Nobody cares. Awesome. One wall built. I'm going to fill it in in here as well and use that all. So the plan of this episode is really to protect ourselves because we are not secure anymore. Have merchants who can be raided at any time. At the moment there is no wars, but it does not mean that some sort of war creature can't come in and cause quite a bit of trouble for us. So hopefully we can be better protected. wall like that awesome and this hole in here as well we have to delete so let's go there build the wall and go all the way like this fantastic okay let's release the guys and see if we have any more idlers from that nobody so everyone will be busy doing this wall which is great this will actually come quite quickly since now I can use a lot of labor. What else we need is needs, this wall needs dragging it a bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build it a little bit and I will come back to you guys very shortly. Okay, so the first layer of the wall will go like this. I think we're doing fine with it. We'll have to chop some of them trees as well in here. So let's think about it, how we're going to do it. We want to chop the trees in here. So let's go to designation and tree cutting, yes. On this tree gone. Definitely. I uh, will need this one gone in here as well. Them two can stay. This tree is gone as well in here. And this two sadly have to go as well. So let's go the one level lower. The three of these trees have to go. So we're going to chop this one. And this one. And the last one as well. So let's select that. 
Okay, we can resume and let our guys do it. We actually have will have a reasonable solution in here to our defenses with this wall. Eventually we'll have to build it a little bit higher, but for now we'll do just fine. Not sure if I will be able to get the higher level or not. I'm not sure they will build it. They will actually walk around it and actually they will go all the way around and build it up for us. So that's fine as well. May want to build some sort of ramp here to, or something. So let's see. I want to play that. Just to make it easier for them, let's build the ramp. So I'm going to go to build and some sort of ramp or stairs. They can have a little ramp made of blocks as well. So let's go find them. Uh, skis blocks, perfect. And that should work with everybody, okay. Still have the hole in here, I have to block it eventually. But for now I'm just letting it be there because we need it. The animal has become a stray horse, so we had a horse and now we had a big horse from it. So there was a baby horse somewhere at some point in our, our base. How are my miners doing? They are actually not doing much. Construct a building, apparently Marcos is doing, and Das is eating. We have to change that, and we have to change that quick. So let's go to our utilities, and we need a Dwarf's Therapist. Okay, Das, I don't want you to do anything. Marcos, you are not doing anything either. You are constructing though. We don't want that to happen, do we? So Marcos is not going to be long animal constructing. Dangerous creatures. Output liaison is fine. Giant parketeed. Whatever this is. A large monster in the shape of parketeed. So it's some sort of bird. Oh, I can, I can live with that. Let's resume the game here. Still have this selected for smoothing, so actually they're doing quite a decent job with it. Now we have to build some more layers for our rooms. For now, the walls are the most important to protect our base. And I think we're doing we're doing reasonably fine. I think I have to protect the little dogs. We have to select them and send them somewhere in our base. Just stay. So maybe in here. We'll build a kennel for dogs. Or we could have it here in case something bad happened. That wouldn't be too bad option. Nah, for now I won't bother for the dogs. Let's just build the walls as quickly as possible in here. This wall has to be extra level high. We need it to be at two Z levels high and then kind of overhung. At the third Z level, so three Z levels up, we want it high. So it's going to be one, then higher than that, and higher than that, and then going from there. And then I would at least know what trees I can use to do things in my base. So that's fine as well. We used a lot of them blocks. Farmer constant gives water. Okay, so we get this thing again. Cancel gives water. Zone to location. Let's zoom in more and more so I can actually find it properly. Now, zone to location, apparently somewhere here, it claims that we are trying to give water, but we're not really, are we? So let's grab Phoenix. he's here. He's here, he can still give water, well, who was he giving water to? There is nobody injured in this base. Drowsiness for Andrew. That's fine. First, hunger and hung exhaustion and hunger. Why is that? 
Why is Das so hungry? A Markuder hungry, both of them. We should have, have enough meals stored. We have approximately 10 prepared meals apparently. And so we should be fine. I may have to change it here. I think because I'm cooking all the time, people are actually not getting meals, so let's make sure that we're actually doing it properly. So what we want to do is all W. Yes. We have 11 apparently. So we should be fine with meals. They should be eating properly. So I'm confused in here. Let's cancel this or suspend it for, for a while. And allow my farmer to do other jobs. That's fine. That, that should work okay as well. We also got some people in here, so I'm going to name them now quickly and we'll have a few other people joining our fortress. Okay, so we're ready. People that are joining the, colon the colony, the fortress are Billy Bolton, Pale Wing, and we have another one somewhere here. Imperor Augustus, they join our colony. We have one extra person left. That hasn't been changed yet, so if you want to join the colony, drop me uh, your name in the comment on the first video. So I have them in one place. And apparently Phoenix is still obsessed with giving this bouquet to people. And Pale Wind as well, everybody wants to give the bouquet to somebody. Nobody's injured though, so I'm not really sure who they're giving the bouquet to. Maybe they give it to animals, maybe the animals got injured, I don't know. Doesn't appear to though. So hopefully, hopefully people will get over itself. Let's see what sort of animals we have in here. Gazelle. Arvdrak, whatever this is, this thing is, that's fine. Oh, that's like, I think that looks like a flying bird thing. And that's it. Two turkey gobblers dead, water buffalo died, stray donkey and gazelle, that's fine. We go to Z and our animals. There was a cat, there was a dog somewhere, that horse somewhere that we can kill. Yeah, we own the strange horse apparently, he came, must have came with some sort of migrants, let's slaughter it, because why not? And let's do it, can always do with extra meat. So everybody else is doing the jobs, they're actually building this thing now, so that's awesome. And it should work quite fine. What I want to do as well, I want to go to designation and gather some plants. Gather plants is P, and we're going to gather them just from this area where we are. Just so we have something to do and we have some plants going. There will be few. As you can see there will be few to be gathered, so at least that will keep the farmer busy and he can, he can do jobs. This is suspended so that's fine, meals should be cooked, everything should work fine. It works to spend construction of the wall. Can't reach. Why can't you reach the wall? Oh, these two parts you can't reach. Through that. I see. Well, in that case, we have to build the ramp there as well. So, let's go and do two things. First of all, we're going to dig this. Because we don't need it, so we're going to go, not even dig, but channel that down. And that's what we're going to do, we're going to channel that down. H. Channel that. And channel that one here. So then we don't have this wall hanging stupidly. Then we're going to build the ramp as well, so B. Build the ramp, which is in here. And just a little ramp. I'm going to place it here on this side of the wall, so we can climb. And I think everybody should, should everything should be working fine now. I'm quite happy with the way it went now. So the walls are being built, that's the most important part for me. People are still actually doing the job, so that's okay, at least we have them busy for a while. Let's see how is the detailing of the stone going. It's actually done. It's actually done quite well. What I want to do 
I want to build some sort of more rooms for uh, workshops. So we're going to make this floor a workshop floor. So I was coming up with this design of flooring in here and I want to do have like workshops five by five like that then the gap and five by five so something like that we want so for now we're going to have that connected then they will have an entrance like that same in here and then we'll have a big storage so we're going to group the workshops together for similar materials that we can use so something like that and one two three four five six seven something like that and the same in here draw the storage units for my guys I'm going to place all the stones there and whatever materials we're going to be using here we're going to place in here so I may place actually kitchen here and the steel and move the food stockpile in here at least the raw food in here and then move alcohol somewhere else I think we might do that and they're chewing through this rock like crazy I love it look how fast they can actually mine now it's amazing when you go on the miners and look at them and read them all it's 15 and 14 that is actually huge levels of mining grand master mining legendary miner has a 15 so it's really really good and they can as well fight and attack people they're not doing bad at all you know if it comes to fight they could actually stand the fight I'm going to mine that one out and mine that one out so we have some sort of doors awesome and slowly I will be getting ready to open the caverns I can't find it anywhere on the list in here oh it is other stone okay so that's what we're going to be using other stones only selected so my main ores are not being used for anything else and this huge room will become our main stockpile so then eventually we can transform this room into something more useful so we're going to be using that as something I don't, I, either farming or maybe some sort of animal storage unit we'll see how it goes I'm going to as well build few nest boxes because I have few and we're going to place them in this room here so I'm going to go like that whatever we have built we'll use because we need them just on both sides pretty much that's how we're going to place them I don't need many more than that that's the optimal number of chickens we want to go for they are not even chickens are they they turkeys that's all we have okay awesome 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 everybody's busy still so that's great I like keeping them busy may I actually use it for a wood stockpile that would make sense wouldn't it we could use it as a wood stockpile for our main dwarf for our cra wood crafter and this one is just a temporary location eventually we'll use it for chickens maybe or other dogs or anything else Goblin Lison is still with us for whatever reason thought he was leaving and he's now he knows we spotted him that's why So people are, are becoming busy again in our fortress, look at that. They are all working and moving things around, which is great. And I thought we finished everything. Let's grab our tree cutter because I need to actually cut the trees. And find him, wood crafting, wood cutting, you guy. Liberated Bison, our main tree cutter, and Mason. So he's obviously busy masoning probably. Okay, so we're going to leave you for that. I'm going to go down to here to the mason workshop. 
Uh, Imperated Bison is actually not here. What is he doing? Construct the rock blocks. He is. So he must be moving the stone to himself. Yeah. He's probably here dragging this stone. Can't know what reasons for, but he does. Uh, so we're going to label him as a mine mason for a second. Just commit changes here and go with it. He will still move it because that's the job he remembers to do. But after that he will be fine. Yeah, he will finish his last task and then hopefully he will move on to other jobs, no? What is he doing? Why are we not doing proper jobs? Iberated Bison, I need you to actually do the jobs you have selected for yourself. Let's grab him again. And that's something you have to mess about with a bit. Has no jobs selected, but he has some here. I'm going to disable that as well. Commit changes, and I want you to cut the trees, mate. That's all you have to do for now. Go. Unit, liberate bison. Go to unit. And we want to follow him for a second, so let's press F. And where are you going? Are you going up? You know, you're going to be dragging the furthest rock away. Even though you're already disabled for that. Hmm. Sometimes this game is so problematic. Let's go here and see what we can do. Auto labor zero, I think, is a command that I want to play. So it doesn't adjust the jobs by itself. Winter has arrived. Okay. So we are now on the winter season. Doesn't bother us that much really because the <laughs> nothing nothing will freeze anyway. Okay, go, Iberated Bison. We'll see what happens after you drop this rock. Hopefully you can actually move on with your life. And chop the tree for me. And he's going. Yes, fantastic. Okay, where are you going now? Are you going some strange ways, mate? He's going to choose the furthest away tree ever to chop. Because, hey, why not? And go do this one as well. Fantastic. After that, we'll give you your jobs back, but for now, I just need them to be actually cut. So there is three in here and then these two trees and we can be done with it. Come on, you can do it. One extra. Okay, fantastic. He has no more jobs, I think. No, he doesn't. Okay, the miners are hanging around and he's hanging around. So he is going to be giving his jobs back. So he becomes my son back. I'm going to give him all these jobs here as well. Fantastic. Commit the changes here. I'm going to grab the miners and give them a job as well. So we have smoothed this one nicely. Because I want to start building a little more in here. So let's select these rooms. And smooth something. I'm going to smooth all this hole, I think, and then we're going to move the furniture. So for now, let's go to designation and smoothing is S. Because I want to place the tables in here. So it's going to go like chair. Chair, table, chair, something like that. Chair. Table, table, chair. Then going to be chair, table, table. 
not like that. Let's go here. Going to have a space as well. Like that. So we're going to do, we're going to go with it quite a bit. We're going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen dwarves can sit in this dining hall. Ideally, I would like to squeeze more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's 32 dwarves that can eat at all at the same time. Let's see how many we can actually squeeze there. And that leaves us with 64 at the same time. If we make this corridor smaller. But we can smooth it like this for now. So that's how we're going to have it. This kind of layout. So for now, I will just remove that one and remove that one. We'll bring it back later. But for now, I just want to smooth the layout for our first tables and chairs. So that's what the miners are going to focus on. And okay, I think that's what we're going to finish the episode, guys, because I think we run out of time. We did quite a bit, so we're going to do some more jobs in the future episode. Thank you for everybody for watching, and I will see you guys next time.